You got to get him to turn oh those lights God. on, David. Coach Osborne's coming out, and maybe he'll maybe we can get him over here. Well, Dave, I'll tell you what. We'll give you a little bit of break, and we're going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Here he is, right here. Coach Osborne. Okay. okay. Coach Osborne. We'll, we'll stay there for Ozzy. Okay. How are you? Tom, I don't know. I I didn't think you'd come out. I don't know what to say, Coach. Well, here I am. Everybody's <laughs> got to be somewhere, right? <laughs> we 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 taped your uh, your the, the comments you made earlier. We're going to mm. run the tape, but this is so much better. How do you feel? We talked to Nancy already. Mm -hmm. She said she's exhausted, but feels great. Oh yeah. Well, Nancy, she'll celebrate all night. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go back. Go to bed. And uh, but I, I'm very pleased. I'm really pleased with the way our players played and. Uh, to beat Miami in Miami is a very difficult assignment. I, I really think it was probably the toughest assignment we could have drawn in uh, any bowl, uh, even tougher than Penn State at Pasadena or Alabama or Florida State or Florida in the in the in the Sugar. So, uh, uh, you know, I was I just felt if we could stay close, that we had worked so hard in practice that we thought our strength and our conditioning would maybe take hold in the fourth quarter. We talked to the players about that. And we told them the fourth quarter would be ours. And in the second half, we even chose to uh, to defend this end zone start of the half so we would have that one at the end because that was the least noisy one. And we figured in the fourth quarter that's where we were going to do our scoring. And and I think the players bought into it too. Unfortunately, we just didn't do it in the third quarter. I think I had them too, uh, too uh, keyed into we were going to win it in the fourth, so they, they waited to do it. But uh, anyway, it was a great team win. Punting was good. You know, Erstad made some great plays. Defense uh, three and out about three or four times there in the fourth quarter, which which was the whole deal. And then offensively, we, we got things going. I think their defense was really kind of worn down toward the end. Your decision to continue practice on an interim basis, but to keep it going all the way through December, turned out to be exactly what the team needed to be in the tip-top condition to play this game. Well, it seems like these passing teams like Florida State uh, can, can take a layoff of a couple weeks and they can come back and be pretty good. But... When you're doing the traps and the counter sweeps and the options and a lot of kind of things that are kind of intricate, it seems like that layoff, a couple, three bowl games we played, we just never got our timing back. So we decided we'd go back to doing it the way we used to many years ago and just never quit practicing. And and I thought our timing was better tonight. We had some doggone turnovers that about killed us. But uh, if we play without turnovers, we probably win pretty good here. We might win by 16, 17 points. Have you ever experienced a, a team like this, a season like this, with so many highs and so many lows? Well, I've never had a team that's had this much resolve. You know, from day one, they were determined that, uh, I mean, we didn't hardly get off the field last year, and they were saying they were going to be back and they were going to win it. And uh, they had a tremendous offseason, a uh, tremendous spring ball, tremendous summer, a uh, great uh, fall camp getting ready for the kickoff classic and then they worked their tails off for the last month uh, getting ready for this so tremendous work ethic and um, but uh, a very unified group and they knew what they wanted to do and it wasn't nothing was going to stay in their way whether it was injuries or what they they got it done so I, I'm very proud of them. Was it Joe Paterno that told you, said to you, that you win a national championship when you least expect it? Yeah, Joe mentioned that one time. He said, uh, sometime when you least expect it, uh, you'll win it. And, but I haven't won, we haven't won it yet. You know, you got to wait for the vote. And uh, they may vote, you know, Penn State may win 100 to nothing tomorrow, and and uh, it's all over. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to enjoy tonight. And I really appreciate the Nebraskans' support. And you know, we had about 16,000 down here. And, they made their presence known, and uh, we really appreciate all the people back in Nebraska. The, the thing that I felt the pressure coming in this game was just how many people were going to be devastated if we didn't win it. You know, cause everybody's saying it's it's our turn, it's your year, it's this and that. And hey, in athletics, uh, you don't take turns. You know, <laughs> you play Miami and Miami. Usually, you you know it's tough to win. It's two times in the last 60 shots down here. So uh, I thought it was an uphill climb, but uh, the players uh, went out and did it. God bless you, Coach. Okay, thanks, thanks very much. Thank you yeah, very thank much, you. Tom. Congratulations. Okay, thank right. you. Coach, Happy New Year. Yeah, appreciate 17, nine, you Happy New Year, huh? Um, can't get much happier, Dave. Oh. Dave, take a break. I've done everything I ever wanted to do, boys. <laughs>